Hey guys, welcome back. So, with game promotion to the J2 League and last episode, we're deciding whether I'm going to stay with Sanuki for one more season or I'm going to go elsewhere. Well, I want to get my coaching qualifications unless they allow me. And I've asked them in the past and they said no. Unless they allow me to do the course, I will then have to consider my options and go elsewhere. So let's see. Let's start a coaching course. Yeah. I'm going to ask them permission for me to carry out the National C license. Yep, I know that my coaching effectiveness is reduced. So Sanuki have replied, saying they're unwilling to grant my request. However, despite the board's initial rejection of your request, we're willing to listen. Let's see, I'm going to have to discuss with them. Very simple. Welcome, Cedric. We understand that you'd like to discuss your recent request. Yes, it would be beneficial for the club to let me go on a course. <laughs> Although we agree to your reasoning, we simply need your presence at training right now. I am going... It's going to be very simple. If you don't grant this request, I'm not certain that I'll be able to carry on in my job. And let's see what they say. Yusuke Nakamura. Clearly, this is an issue that is close to your heart and your continued devotion to the cause is impressive. After considering what you said, we have decided to grant your request. Let's go. We're glad we have had uh, such a productive meeting. You know where to find us if you want to talk about anything else. So I guess it's settled. Uh, I am staying in Sanuki. <laughs> Perfect. The board have agreed to send me on a coaching course. Look at this. So it's for four months and it's 480 pounds covered by my club. And that should hopefully increase the reputation or increase my reputation. And maybe that would allow me to get other jobs going forward. Looking towards next season, I do need to look at my squad. I need to assess uh, which areas I need to improve the most on, provided we don't have anybody leaving. My biggest worry at the moment is actually Santiago, who is an amazing keeper has been immense for me this past season. He's made 40 appearances, 20 clean sheets. Yeah. Now if we look at his report, he has a potential to be a good J1 league goalkeeper in the future. He's a decent player for most J1 league sides. And I had him in, in the J3 league. <clears throat> and I don't particularly have any backup for him. And my biggest worry is that the minimum fee release clause on his contract was forced upon me when I signed him and it was his requirement I mean he was using the club probably as a stepping stone so the question is going to be can I keep this guy and if I can't can I find somebody suitable to keep to help keep my club up outside of that if we look down here you can see that my left back position needs some work um, I do need to check the contracts of some of these players and the attacking midfield the center although I do have depth I do seem to be lacking a star quality player I see Chavez uh, Diaz will be leaving at the end of the season as well he's on loan the Yokoyama who's been an absolute hero in the playoff uh, semis and final the two goals that he scored we'll see what that leaves for the club this season but yeah key points I need to try and keep Santiago. He's going to be vital. Got to try and sign a left back and an attacking midfielder, a star player, like a star signing, somebody that will ensure that we will have the link between the midfield and the strikers. Hopefully stay up. It could be a chance of maybe getting a striker, but we do have a tall who just needs to settle in and, he, and we've got him on for the next season as well already. So it'll be just a question of, um, you know, if I do see a chance to sign somebody, you know, maybe Japanese international, something like that. Or maybe even a J1 uh, star player. Who knows? I mean, when I signed Santiago, <laughs> he had no club. Yet he's a J1 graded star. <laughs> and we'll see what I get up to. <laughs> so, we have arrived at our first game of the season. Goes without saying, the transfer saga leading up to this first game has been uh, quite interesting. First of all, we unfortunately lost a couple of players in, I mean, Aka wanted to leave during the course of the season after I signed a striker or two. 
So eventually I sold him only for 4k, which is not a lot, but just nobody wanted to pay any more for him. I unfortunately lost Yutomori, who was so reliable, so versatile too. I did lose my star center back Tabira as well. And Nago, unfortunately, we fell out of favor with me. And he wanted to leave, so I had to find him a quick exit. And eventually I did. Now, uh, with that said, obviously, I did have Chavez, Attila, amongst others, who were on loan last season, and I've lost them. So, as you can see on the left-hand side, I've had to make quite a lot of uh, transfers, and most of them have been on a free. Because, quite frankly, even though we've got promoted, I have been struggling to get players, you know, of a very high standard. I guess maybe they have low expectations of the club. The club did unexpectedly get promoted and their reputation hasn't gone up as much as I would have liked. Hopefully, by me doing the course, I will have a higher reputation, more players will want to play with me, and so on and so forth. Now, the biggest set of news in the transfers isn't exactly anybody that's come in or anybody that's come out. It's actually the fact that Santiago has been approached by several clubs, and he's asked me that he's told me, sorry, he does not wish to speak to the clubs. So he's happy to stay, folks. He might be the miracle I need to actually survive in the J2 League. I did try and give him a new contract, but he doesn't want to discuss a new contract. I guess, I mean, his current contract, we'll look at it very briefly. It expires in 2026, so I do have two more seasons with him. And he does have a minimum fee release clause of 300k. Now, looking here at the value, he's valued between 16 and 650, but obviously he would go for 300 by default based on that. So yeah, so, so far, I mean, the transfer window is still open. He is still wanted by Tochigi, who I rejected recently at the Santiago's request. So yeah, that's probably the best news I have in the transfer window, <laughs> sadly. However, if we go back to transfer history, we have signed uh, Mike. Uh, mispronounce his surname, Lich. I'll say, it. I'll call him Darko. He's a right back from Serbia. I thought he's, he's a good cover. You know, we lost Attila, who we had on loan. We'll get Darko for the rest of the season. Uh, we also got Shinji Mats Matsushita on loan for the season. I mean, he can play on the left side, left back, or left midfield, or left wing. So, very versatile, useful guy. Uh, we did also get uh, Okmura, who is is a midfielder, can also play some right wing if required. But you know, the idea is solid midfielder. If you look at the stats that uh, focus on the midfield. He's got great first touch, great passing, great technique, great vision. You know, so he could be my, uh, you know, Andrea Pirlo if you like of the squad. Maybe <laughs> we'll have to see. He hasn't got the best balance, so <laughs> might lose the ball a lot. Hopefully not. Um, now, moving on, we did sign uh, Sano, who is a right back. Nothing too crazy, but I did. Uh, I was lacking in my squad. I was lacking uh, right back. I had no depth on the left side of the pitch. I don't left back or left midfield. So I had to sign a few players on that. He can cover as left back if need be. We got one Tanabe, who's another right back that can also play left back. So, you know, I'm having just trying to increase the depth of the squad here. We got Nishizawa, who is a shadow striker, mainly. So he can play attacking midfielder center and striker as well. One of the promises I did make is that I was going to get a lot of reinforcements to uh, supplement the team. Yeah, so not just in the places that I was missing, but I also wanted to complement the attack as well. And this guy seems to fit the bill. He has very good mental stats, I think. And yeah, we'll see what he can contribute to the team. We also have a Noguchi, who is a center mid, but also a left midfielder. Why didn't have? And finally, we have Misao, who is a center back and can also play left back. He is fairly old, but I do love most of his stats. The only one that worries me is his strength. I mean, we did need to find a replacement for Tabira. He's not quite that. I mean, he is 33, so, you know, like he is towards the end of his career, per se. And um, yeah, so with that said, Let's move on to our first game of the season. So just before we move into the game, uh, just so you know, I have had to employ a slightly different tactic, mainly because Kawasaki, our team leader, I did have to renew his contract because he was getting attention from other clubs. 
and I was worried it was going to disrupt the harmony in the club. And one of his requests is that he plays midfielder right and in the role of a winger. In trying to oblige with that, I had to change the, the team formation from last season's, you know, 4 2 3 1 down to a 4 4 2 playing with wingers. So we'll see how that goes, hopefully, and uh, we'll take it from there. Our home form is going to be important this season for us, so let's go up there and make it the advantage count. Come on, Sanuki! You got this, come on. We got Sazaki on the ball, giving it to Ito. Let's see if Ito can look back for a pass back to Sazaki, who crosses it into Kawasaki. Oh, can he make something of it? No. Oh, he gives it to Okamura and he makes it 1 0. Let's go. Incredible piece of play by Kawasaki. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. We got the enemy team on the ball. Having a good play of possession there. Oh, he knew he's cutting in and he hits the post. And the shot clatters off Santiago into safety. The cross comes in from the opposing team. Pike trying to cross it in to Nakano who shoots and what a banger from Nakano. Jesus. That's not good. Why do you want to start the season? We've got Cheek on the ball to Darko. Gives it to Kawasaki who's looking for Nishizawa. Who gives it back to Takizawa. Kawasaki back to Tak. Darko to Kawasaki. This is a very good run of play right now. Possession football. That's what I like to see. Let's see. If they can't have the ball, they can't win. That's for sure. Misao's looking for a tour. Can he look for a ball to Sasaki? He can. Can he find somebody there? Osaki cuts in. Can he score? Yes, he does. Makes it 2-1. Lovely. Okay, that's quite a long kick to trying to find that toe. No, but Sasaki picks it up. Can he find the uh, finds Okamura? Was trying to find Kawasaki. Bit of a long ball there. Who gives it back to Takazawa? Plays it across to Misao. Who goes down the wing? What a cross! At all? Oh my days! It's about keeper makes a great save. So we got two minutes left on the clock after one more time runs out. Nice little play there. Oh, great save by uh, Santiago as always. And Suzaki's on the ball, looks for Eto. Eto makes a run of play. Can he cross it in? No, he gives it to Suzaki. Who gives it to Kawasaki? Who? Oh! So close. So let's see, we got a uh, dark on the ball to Kawasaki. Can he find a cross? He does, and nope. It's uh, taken off by Sasaki. Can he find somebody in the box? So he's trying to get in. Oh, what a ball to Ton! Yes! Uh, what a goal! Great play by Sasaki. And lovely finish by Eto. Lovely control possession by my team. Taking it off the hands of the enemy. And the fans are even cheering at every pass. Eto looks for Sasaki. What a ball. Can he? Oh! Keep it just about. Makes a save. Oh. The opposing team have the ball, they're looking for a play. They seem to be getting a couple of passes linked together. Tanaka on the win. Oh, and Misao greatly takes care of that one. And Eto is on the wing and loses possession. Oh my days, this is going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. And Santiago, what a save. Even though it was offside, still is a great save, has to be said. Now we do have the ball. Tanaka on the throwing to Nakai. Oh, still has the ball to Kawasaki. It's all onto Nakai. Can he finish? Oh, great save. Down to minute 89 of the game. We got Dark on the ball to Kawasaki, who gives a lovely pass to Nakai. Nakai is on his own there at the moment. Can he cross it in? Oh, he finds Yokoyama and he can't finish. Now we've got a corner here. Misao looking for probably Nara, maybe. If he can get the ball in to Nara. Oh, close. Zaki does recover the ball. Maybe he's trying to cross it in again. And Yokoyama. Oh, just about can't make it, but he does pick up the ball again. Possession to Misao, who crosses it in to Nakai. Darko crosses it in. Nope. Loses possession, and they can go on the counter attack. 
I mean, the game is bound to finish in the next few moments. So if we can keep a cool head, which we can, and we've got three points. Let's go. Three points in the first game of the season. And Kawasaki, a 9.0 rating. And then you've got Sasaki on a 9.7. That is absolutely crazy. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Oh, if we could stay like this until the end of the season, I would totally take it. 